Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP memory and ABAP memory. And in the previous video, we started with the practical part of ABAP memory. And we created the base programs in one program. Yes, the input is creation date. And in another program, the input is creation date and the username. And we are not writing any logic into this particular program. We simply, simply called this program in which the creation date is there from this particular program. Now the question comes into everyone's mind. This program is not fulfilling our requirement. If we will give username as input also, ultimately we are getting the data based upon date. Because in this program, your query is based upon creation date only. Suppose firstly we will understand, then we will come on to the solution. Suppose I am putting a breakpoint here. Now user is running the program in which we have the date and the name both. I am running this program. Suppose I am giving 20th August to 21st August. Suppose we will check the table also parallelly so that we can understand fully. This is our table. I am going for 20th August to 21st August. So we have four records. Suppose I am passing the username also. Suppose I am going for R method. It means only one record should come in the output. If we are filtering based upon both, then only one record should come in the output. Yes, this record. I am running. I will go for execute. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop, yes. Now, there is no logic into this particular program. Logic is in this particular another program. Now, this is the date which we passed from the screen, 20th August to 21st August. This date will go to this of this particular program. If I want to go inside this another program, I will do F5. Now, this, this is not our code. Whenever you think in the debugging mode, you lost somewhere, do F7. F7 is for return. I will do F7. Now, you can see this is our program, another program. Now, S underscore ER that. Have you seen from S underscore date of that program, the input passed, yes, to S underscore ER that. This is the date. Now, this query, the system will execute this query and we are getting the records based upon this creation date and we got the four records and this is the output. But this should not be the output. This output, this is the expected output if user is only only running this program in which we have the creation date. If user is running this program in which we have the creation date, in which we have the creation date and username both. This is not the expected result. Now the question comes, how, how we will pass this username also to this particular program? Because ultimately we have to filter based upon username also. And this, that username is not an input to this particular program. If it is the input, you can simply, simply pass through with that another thing also. But that is not the concern here. That is not the requirement or that is not our sense. That is not our particular solution. So in that case, how, how you will pass the value of username to this particular program through export and import concept through a back memory concept. Just understand how we are taking the requirement and there are so many scenarios in the real time project in which you are calling one program from another program. But that program do not have any input parameters. If that program do not have any input parameter, 
how you will pass the values in that case you will pass the value through a path memory export and import concept now how i will write that i will simply simply go for export you all know whenever you have a back memory, we will go for the concept of export. From this program, we will export. And in this program, we will import. We will import because ultimately we need to use the value of name into this particular program. So how I will write export. Which value you want to export? S underscore ER now. We want to export this. We want to export. I will go for the syntax to memory ID. And I will give the name of the memory ID. Suppose name of the memory ID is, suppose I will say ER now. So that it will make more sense. So we exported this value from this, in, from this program we are exporting the value to this particular memory ID. Now, your name is into this memory ID. Can we import into this particular program? Yes, we will import. Now, here, I will write the import statement. It is already open. I'll close that. I'll just go to change mode. And here, I will import. I will simply, simply write import s underscore er num from memory id there you exported at that time we use the keyword to now here we are importing so we will use the word from memory id what is the name of memory id er num. now the important part we need to declare this do not declare as a part of select option. If you will take this as a select option, there is no need to do all these things because in this program, there is no input of username. Do not take a select option here. If you take a select option here itself, then in that case, there is no need for memory ID pass with the help of with itself. Okay. Now we will simply, simply declare this. Now the important part how we will declare this how we will declare this you all know s underscore er num s underscore er num which you exported it is a select option means it can go for multiple values yes you all know very well select option is a internal table of four column what are those four column sign option low and high is fully fully explained in the ABAP programming playlist. You can refer what are the various parts of select option in ABAP programming part one playlist. Suppose if I will show you up to this level in the debugging so that there will not be any confusion. I'm commenting this. We'll see in the debugging mode and then we will declare. Suppose I'm putting a breakpoint and I will run. Suppose I'm giving that date. I'm going for suppose user name. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now you can see S underscore ER num is a internal table. What are the internal table columns? Sign, option, low and high. It means Whenever we will declare, whenever we will declare into this particular program, suppose if I will come out, I will go to the program. This is our second program. From this program itself, I will navigate to first program. This is our first program. Now, in this program, I need to declare this. If you want to declare this, it is an internal table of four column. If you want an internal table of four column, it means you require a structure type of four column. Now, it is totally your wish. You want to declare a structure here. It is totally your wish. Tiesta structure has four column. 
sign option low and high, then you can declare this as underscore ER number. If you already have available, you can use that also. And the best way is if something is available, we should use that. We should use that. So I will show you how you can use. Go to SC11 transaction. Now, choose the radio button data type. You all know with the help of this radio button, you can create data element. You can create structure type. You can go for table type. Suppose just do star. ER num star. SAP has so many table types for this ER num. Suppose we will search for table types. Now I will just go for, you can take any of the data type which has four columns, sign, option, low and high. Suppose I will go for this. Suppose I will choose this. If I will display, if I will see this particular, this particular table type, if I will double click, has a structure type. And have you seen it has four columns, sign, option, low and high. So you all know how you can make an internal table. So I will simply, simply write data. S underscore ER num type, table type. This is totally your wish. How you are making an internal table, internal table type, table type. If you want to go for type table of, you can declare like this also. S underscore ER num type table of, you need to pass the name of structure. So it is totally your wish how you want to go because we all know select option is a internal table, internal table. So you can write internal table type, table type, or you can write internal table type, table of structure type. If you want to declare using types also, it is totally your wish. You can go by that also. No problem. You can go by that way also. Suppose I will go by this way. If something is available, we should use that. Do not take as a part of select option because this is not the input. Now, now we exported in this program, we imported. Now I will simply, simply write the code. If S underscore ER num is not initial, it means if user is passing the username, we'll simply, simply pass two conditions. And ER num in S underscore ER num. Now, this program should not hamper. This program should be as it is. And in the else part, we will go for same to same query. Else part. We'll go for same to same query. There is no ER num. And we have that thing. I will go for and if. I'll just explain. It might be the case. There's too much things we am covering. We'll understand. Suppose I'm activating this. We'll talk in terms of our this program suppose user is putting date and name suppose user is putting date and name whenever user will put date and name name we are passing through export concept means a back memory concept date we are passing through our submit program itself because we have that date as a input into another program control will go to this particular program now, date here, import, import will take this name from this particular memory ID. Name will come into this. If name will come into this, it means name is not initial. If name is not initial, it will go for username also. It will go based upon date also. Suppose you are running this program independently. Suppose we are running this program independently. In that case, this name, this import 
will not bring anything because we are not exporting. So import will not bring anything. Whenever import will not bring anything, this name is blank and we will simply, simply get the output based upon that date only. So both things will work. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, what we did, important part is yes, how we will pass the username to this particular program. Because in this program, username is not an input, but we need to pass. So in that case, we will use the concept of a BAP memory. So we exported the username to this particular memory ID. You can give any name to the memory ID. It is totally your wish. Now, after that, when this program, you are, are writing the import statement. From that program, you exported. In this program, you imported. We are importing from the same to same memory ID. Now, it needs to be declared. And we all know select option is an internal table of four column sign option low and high. But I cannot take select option here. If I will take select option, it will become an input to this program. We are not hampering this program. In this program, there is only one input. So in that case, you need to declare this. So how you will declare? It's totally your wish. You can create a structure type of four columns, sign option low and high and declare the internal table. What is another option? Go to SC11 and check. Is there any table type, structure type available? Use that. I use the table type. You all know whenever you have table type, you have to simply use the word type. If you are going for structure type, you need to use type table of. And I did now two things. If name is not initial, it will go for filtering based upon both. If name is initial, this query will execute because the existing program should not hamper. It should be not be the case that you are writing the logic and existing program is hampering. We should think based upon that part also. In the next video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. We will see the ABAP memory values in the debugging mode. We will go for deleting the values from the memory ID. So these all things will be covered in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.